So I'm going to start this video out by saying that everyone should be excited for the Xbox July event. And I truly mean everyone, not just Xbox fans, but all gamers in general. Because let's face it, we're all gamers and no matter what platform you prefer or what platform you play on, gaming is the best hobby around. And I truly love playing good games no matter where they're at. And with that said, I have to say that this Xbox event has been building up for some time now. I mean, Xbox themselves have said this will be their E3 basically, and it will showcase a lot of the first party games they have in development, which includes Halo, Forza, not to mention a lot of unannounced games that we have no idea exist. This event has been shaping up to be one of the biggest Xbox events in recent memory. And to be honest, I'm not going to tell everyone to temper their expectations. No, I'm not going to tell you, oh, let's relax a little bit and not expect much. I did this during the Xbox event in May and I said, hey, this will be a third party only event and might be a little smaller show. None of that is going to happen in this video. Instead, I'm going to say we have to expect better from Xbox. We have to demand a great show and get great games. We have to make it known we want them to compete in the gaming market more than ever. And this show is one of the first steps towards that. So if you go to the show and Xbox holds back or if they don't show what they have coming for the Xbox Series X, I will be the first one to call them out. And I don't expect to be the only one to do so. But I don't think that will be the case with this event because I just have a different feeling about this one. And I'm excited to see what Xbox has been working on for the last couple of years. And from what I've heard behind the scenes and from what's been reported, I truly think this event will be filled with mic drop moments, which is why I'm making this video. I want to give a little preview of what I think will show up at this event. And most of this is speculation, but I find it fun to predict what might show up. So let's get into this preview and get hyped for Xbox's biggest event in years. But like always, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. All right, so the first thing we need to get out of the way is that this July event is going to be filled with games. It's going to be the vocal point of the entire show. From what Xbox has said, they don't plan to talk price, plans, or business strategy or anything else. This game show is about games and what we should expect from the Xbox Game Studios. And to make sure that you understand this event is about games, here's what Aaron Greenberg had to say about the event on Twitter. I know everyone is excited for Xbox Game Showcase. Next Thursday, seen some wild expectations, so if helpful, this show has one focus, games. No business, devices, or similar news, just games. A whole show about hour long, focused on games. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so now that we have all of our expectations in check and of what's going to be shown, let's dive into the games I think will be there. And first up has to be Halo Infinite, and I mean, how could it not be? This will be the vocal point of the entire show because this game has been in development for five years and 343 Industry has built an entire game engine around it. Not to mention this game will launch with the Xbox Series X, which is a massive deal. This is the first time Xbox has launched a brand new generation with the Halo game since the first ever OG Xbox console. So when I say this game is probably one of the biggest games Xbox has released in years, I truly mean it. Because Halo is the crown jewel of the Xbox franchises, and they truly need to launch this game right. It has to hit on all cylinders, it needs to blow people's minds. And from what I've heard behind the scenes, this game is not only amazing looking, but it will truly look next generation. I mean, it will look better than anything else we've seen thus far, which is a very tall order. Because that means everything that Sony showed won't compare to what we'll see from Halo Infinite. And frankly, I do think that Halo is that franchise that Xbox needs to be doing this with. Because it's a massive franchise that a lot of people go to Xbox for. So expect a massive gameplay demo of the campaign, along with some multiplayer aspects. But either way, this part of the show will be extensive and it will showcase the power within the Xbox Series X on the biggest franchise in Halo. Now, next up, I'm going to be going with the worst kept secret in the gaming world, which is Playground Games making the next Fable game. We already know that this game is in development and it's been in the works for years now. Do I think it's going to come out soon? Maybe at the end of next year in 2021 or maybe early 2022. But either way, I have a feeling this game is going to be a massive graphical showpiece either next year or even this year. But do I think it comes out with some gameplay right now? No, I have a feeling it will have a cinematic trailer or just be announced so people finally know that it's coming. 
It will be a great way to promote the Xbox Series X because it will show a lot of people wanting to buy an Xbox console that they have an RPG on the way. And I have a feeling this will be an entire reboot of the series and take it in a very different direction, which I hope is true. I enjoyed Fable for what it was back in the day, when it was first released. But over time, I've outgrown a lot of that humor and now I want something a little more serious and something that just is fun to play and has expansive gameplay and mechanics. We as Xbox gamers have been missing something like that from the first party development of Xbox. So I hope this game takes the RPG games to new heights and gives us something that blows our minds. Now we have Obsidian Entertainment, which is one of the new studios Xbox got back in 2018. They were at the tail end of finishing The Outer Worlds when they were acquired by Xbox, which released last year. But what most people don't know is that that's not the game that impressed Xbox. It was the game behind the scenes they were working on. It's a massive RPG game that people have said only compares to Skyrim. Will it be as big as Skyrim? Who knows? But I do know that this developer is one of the biggest RPG developers in the world, and they could create worlds that are extremely immersive. And with Xbox and Microsoft backing them up and giving them all the tools necessary to make what they want, I have a feeling they'll show something pretty awesome here. Do I think it shows up at this July event? I truly hope it does. But who knows, they might have it for the XO event later this year. Either way, we all know that they'll be at the event and it's almost confirmed that they'll show something there. This next game is something we know nothing about, so instead I'll talk about the studio, which is the Initiatives game. What else can I say about the studio? They've brought in some of the most talented people in the whole gaming world. Their main goal is to push the boundaries of gaming and create games that people find to be innovative. This isn't your conventional studio who will just pump out games every so many years. No, I have a feeling they'll be making games that turn into events. Something like a Halo or a God of War or a Gears of War. Games that really set the gaming world on fire. And I know the rumors about them making a perfect dark game, but I have a feeling that's just a rumor and they'll be making something completely new. But if they are making a perfect dark game, I have a feeling it's going to be something completely different and a complete reboot of the series. Either way, I can't wait to see what they show us because it's going to be something we've never seen before. So while I know they're in the middle of making their game and the studio, I have a feeling they'll have a presence at the show. Let's hope it's something extremely exciting because honestly, I think every Xbox fan has been waiting to see what the initiative is making because they've really hyped up that studio to no end. Next up is the Forza series. Now I could go into each Forza game and they both deserve their own spotlight, but I just wanted to talk about these games because they are pillar franchises for Xbox and I don't think Xbox will go to a show without announcing at least one of the new Forza games for the Xbox Series X. And the studio I know will show up with some impressive game is Turn 10, the team behind Forza Motorsports. To me, Turn 10 is the best racing developers in the industry, and so whatever they have been cooking up is going to be impressive. They didn't release a Forza game last year, so for the last year or so, they've been sitting back and working extremely hard on the next Forza game. We know they're creating new assets and changing a lot of the fundamental aspects of the Forza franchise, so I fully expect them to show up big. As for the Playground games and Forza Horizon 5, I have a feeling they'll not show up to this show and instead be a late 2021 game that comes out in holiday 2021. So don't expect them to show anything for this game show. And if they do, I'll be extremely surprised because I have a feeling Xbox wants to launch the Xbox Series X with Motorsport, which will turn out to be the best racing game in the world. Now, I think those are gonna be the biggest games at the show, but that doesn't mean there won't be other first party games showing up and setting a high bar. We also have Rare's Everwild, which was shown late last year. I have a feeling they'll talk about the game and show gameplay, not to mention a release date. And after seeing Sea of Thieves reach 15 million players, I have a feeling Rare is given free reign of whatever they wanna do. They're very creative developers and create unique games like nothing we've ever experienced before. So I really just wanna play anything they have to give me. After that, I expect to see Ninja Theory with Hellblade 2, which again, was shown late last year. Now this game is going to be one of the best looking games we've ever seen. I mean, even the demo last year was so impressive, people didn't believe it was real. So I have a feeling this game will be a massive graphical showpiece and something that a lot of people will want to play just for the sheer spectacle of it all. You throw in the other first party developers and you have a pretty stacked show. But that doesn't mean we're done. No, we also have third party developers that will show up. So I have a feeling that we will see an exclusive second party or third party game being shown. I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling it's going to be a Japanese based game that will help diverse Game Pass to that demographic. 
Not to mention Windows Central has hinted that Xbox has something in the works with Capcom, which might be another Dead Rising game. Either way, I can't wait to see what they have in the works from that perspective. Now, I don't expect to see the Xbox Series S or the Xbox Series X and the price of the new consoles. Instead, I have a feeling they'll announce a studio acquisition at this event. And who knows, it might be the WB Game Studios, which has been heavily rumored to be happening. No matter how you look at it, Xbox has been on the hunt for developers and has built this massive hype machine building up to the Xbox Series X. I can't wait to see what they do, but if I take them at their word, this will be a show just about games and filled with games. But if I listen to my gut, I would say they have a few surprises up their sleeves. Let's hope they absolutely knock this show out of the park, because I know right now, they have the gaming world's attention. And you don't just squander something like that. Let's hope they come to this event ready to show everything they have. Because I have a feeling this is going to be one exciting show. But enough of what I think about all of this. Tell me what you think about all of this. Do you think this show will only revolve around the games? Will we get some console talk during the show? What games do you want to be shown first? Is Fable going to truly show up? What other games not mentioned here do you want to see? Will Xbox outdo the PS5 show from last month? What studio excites you the most? Will Xbox announce the WB Game Studios acquisition at this July event? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. Right now, I'm on my PS4 playing Ghost of Tsushima. I'm really enjoying the game. The combat is super brutal and the world is extremely expansive. I honestly recommend people check this game out because it is a lot of fun. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.